Hey, this is Brandon Cavanaugh, and today we are going to take a look at the bench press. This is an exercise using mainly the pec major, the deltoids, and the tricep brachii. And the whole point of the exercise is to press a barbell from your chest straight up to full elbow extension above you. Uh, it's a great exercise and a really big push exercise that many people enjoy. Um, but let's say let's jump right into it. The first thing that we're going to look for is five points of contact. You'll see as I approach the bench, the five points of contact that I look for are both feet, your glutes, your shoulders, and your head. Uh, so you'll see kind of as, I, as I'm pointing them out here, I'm going to lay back, get my eyes right underneath that bar. That's how I want to line up every time, eyes right underneath. Then you'll see I, I kind of bridge up a little bit. I have a slight natural arch in my spine from my shoulders to my glutes. Both feet are firmly planted. As I go put my hands on the bar, start the exercise, you'll see that my forearms are perpendicular to the ground through the whole move. Uh, now we're going to move back. We're going to show you exactly how the spotter should stand. A little bit of an alternate grip, that way you know you're not standing right over the person lifting. Alternating grip, uh, alternating grip and a uh, little staggered stance there. And <clears throat> you'll see here, we're gonna go into another another great look at me doing this, this time with weight, doing it for some reps here. You'll see through the whole There's... time, I maintain that natural arch. Yeah. My forearms are perpendicular to the ground. Damn. The yeah, you'll see the spotter is not quite on me like he should go. be but he's watching he's, he's got his hands ready and you'll see him with an oh. alternating grip come in as i start to struggle here ready to almost deadlift that bar up like he should um one thing that you'll notice is for breathing on this exercise you always want to breathe out on the exertion like with most exercises so when you breathe out on the exertion what that means is you are going to be put breathing out as the bar comes up from your chest you'll see this is a little bit of a failed one that i wanted to show as well you'll see that right arm really lags behind and that was smart of the smart of the spider to really jump in immediately uh and grab that off me a little bit too much weight one big thing that I also want to add here is that special populations can do this. There really isn't anyone who is exempt. Um, obviously, elderly clients, people with, uh, with injuries in their chest or shoulder are kind of a spe special case that you got to kind of go case by case if you have specific injuries or someone who has an ICD, an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Um, those, should, those types of people should refrain or be cautious with this exercise just due to where the implant sits next to the, uh, next to the heart, more distal a little bit towards the shoulder. Uh, so that's not something that we really want to mess with. Um, there's a lot of different progressions and things like that that you can do as well. Not that I showed, but you can always do things like a towel bench where you put a towel on your chest to kind of simulate that top half of the motion if you find yourself getting stuck. Or you can always go on an incline or decline bench, kind of hit your chest from a little bit different angle. Um, so there's a lot of different things just with a barbell. You can always switch it up, do some dumbbell bench, do some things like that, or even go body weight and do a push-up circuit. Uh, there's tons of different ways to go about this, tons of different ways to have tons of fun uh, with the bench. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out, leave comments in the, in the post below. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I'm sure we'll look at some another exercise soon. Thank you.